And this one is also going to be my own personal pick of the week. And the reason I'm picking this one is because it does share a lot of similarities with one of my favorite games of all time, which is Agricola. But the differences I'm seeing with this one, I really like. It doesn't mean I'll like this one more than Agricola, but it does look like a lot of fun as well. And it definitely does play differently enough to be its own game. And I don't think everyone would be making the same correlation that I do. But just like Agricola, this is a worker placement game. And each player is going to have their own personal player board and a main player area where they're going to be placing their workers. And just like in Agricola, you do have to feed your workers at the end of each round so that you don't lose victory points. And the different worker placement spaces will allow you to collect resources like food or other resources that you can hopefully convert into food. And what makes this one interesting is that any of the resources that you collect do go onto your own personal player board. But the resources that are not directly edible and require processing will have little arrows on the player board instructing you as to how you can convert those into other resources. In each round, players will be taking turns putting their workers out on the main board. But unlike Agricola, you will be able to put multiple workers in the same location if there's space for more workers. But then similarly to Agricola, if any of the spaces aren't used, then the amount of resources there will increase. But instead of just putting more resources there and piling them up like they do in Agricola, which can get really messy, this one just uses a token that you're going to be sliding up a track. And in order to convert resources across your player board into other resources, you're going to have to put a worker in the action space to be able to do that. And whichever action space you choose will allow you to produce one type of resource. But the nice thing about this is that if you have a lot of resources that you can convert into that type, then you can convert them all at once with a single action. So you might want to time this with the resources that you've collected. And you can also place workers in order to gain special cards that grant you abilities for the rest of the game. And they can also grant you victory points as well. And then finally, there's the monuments where players can compete to put workers in those spaces in order to gain that monument. And this will gain you victory points at the end of the game, as well as a special bonus for collecting certain resources, depending on which monuments you've gained. And you'll have that ability for the rest of the game. At the end of each round, you're going to have to feed your tribes. So you're going to want to make sure that you have enough resources to do so. And then any of your extra resources, you're going to be trying to create different sets of to spend in various ways to throw celebrations that earn you victory points at the end of each round, but cost you resources. So you'll want to make sure that you have enough left over so that you're able to feed your tribe in the following rounds. The player who has the most victory points at the end of the game wins the game.